Right, so after close inspection, I took the main board out. There was seated two 63 volt, 63 volt, 6,800 microfarad caps that were slightly bulged at the top. And I didn't spot this before. You couldn't really see it until I took the bit in the main board out itself. But uh, yeah, they definitely are. There they can see here at the top there. Quite a fair bulge in those, so obviously they will need replacing. And I've looked on the internet, and I can get those for about eight pound each. And I thought, well, while I'm there taking those out, I'll take a couple of more out there next to where the heat sink was. What is, sorry. And another one there. Basically, all the surrounding caps where all the heat's produced. I'm just going to replace all of them. Um. There's a couple there as well. The one with the red top on. That one. I've just put that one in. I just put a marker pen on the top of them. The ones I've replaced, so I know which ones I've put in there. Um, there isn't uh, any gunk out to the caps. There isn't any gunk out of them. It's just the glue that holds them in place, so there's nothing to worry about there with that. It's just that, you know, if they're bulging, with them being audio caps, I think, I think it's better just replace them. You know, for. For 16 quid for the pair, I may as well do. 63 volts, 6,800 microfarad audio caps. And these, or the two, these two of 25 volts, 4,700 microfarad. And there's two of 35 volts, 2,200 microfarad. So they I've took them out, I've desoldered those. I'll just uh, turn the board over, show you. I took them from there. Um, all the soldering's pretty decent. There isn't no cracks in the solder anywhere because I've had a look like I can't find any cracks in the solder. So there's not a problem with that. I was expecting to be a lot of cracks there actually with all the heat that's been produced. But no, there's nothing. So I'll just replace all the caps on there. And uh, in a couple of days I'll get the board put back in. And uh, power it up and test, see what happens. I should imagine if it's still having the same problem that uh, at least the sound's going to be better because they look really worn those. It really worn. Um, it was a bit of a nightmare getting the board out because there's a hell of a lot of corrections. I mean, this is only a, you know, a quarter of what's inside it, but uh, it's worth doing because I, I, you know, I miss using this amp. It's uh, it's got amazing sound. It's actually better than the Denon one I had. You know, and that's saying something because Denon's supposed to be a top brand, but I think all this uh, these Tiac amps and. Uh, not so much the CD players, the TAC CD players, are, you know, they're known to be not very reliable. But the amps, yeah, they're absolutely fantastic. I had the, the 300 reference series, and I was, I was over the moon with that. And I sold it, and I wish I hadn't have done. Because uh, up to this date, I haven't found anything that's anywhere near as good as it. Apart from this one, you know. But, uh, so what I'm going to do when I've replaced them, I'm just going to put a red marker pen on top so I know which ones I've put in. Um, these little ones here, next to the transistors, it's point, pointless me changing those because, you know, they aren't uh, really, how can I say, susceptible to damage anywhere. Because it's such a low voltage rating and what have you, they, you know, it's pointless changing those, it's the bigger ones, isn't it? But, uh, I've tested all the resistors and there's, there's no problems with them either. So that's the only thing it can be you now, really, I think. 